if it fits your macros is dumb. And today I'm going to explain why. In case you're wondering who I am to make such a bold claim, my name's Doug and I've been a nutritionist and a personal trainer for over five years now. And I've helped over a hundred people to get into the best shape of their life. If it fits your macros, otherwise known as IIFYM, I always have to make sure I'm getting that right in my head, is a flexible dieting approach where the focus is on trying to hit specific macronutrient targets. So protein, carbs, and fat rather than restricting certain food or food groups. So on the face of it, if it fits your macro, sounds pretty damn appealing. You get to eat pizza, pasta, burgers, even ice cream, and get shredded at the same time. That's not just pretty appealing, that's awesome. And when you couple that with the fact that it seemingly works for your favorite social media influencers, you're sold. But I'm sure you've heard the phrase, it's too good to be true. Well, this falls straight into that bucket. Now, don't get me wrong, even though I think if it fits your macros is dumb, and I'm gonna explain why I think that in a second, it's not to say that it won't help you to make some progress if you're at the beginning of your weight loss phase. Because at the end of the day, even though you might not be aiming for a specific calorie target, you're still creating a calorie deficit, which is what you need to lose body fat in the first place by sticking to specific macronutrients. You see, the macros that you're aiming for add up to a calorie target. It's just being presented to you in a different way. There's four calories in a gram of protein, there's four calories in a gram of carbs, and there's nine calories in a gram of fat. So let's say you're aiming to eat, I don't know, 120 grams of protein, 250 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. That would be 480 grams from protein, 1,000 grams from carbs, and 540 calories from fat. And yes, I had to check the calculator. I am a nutritionist. Not a mathematician, which adds up to just over 2,000 calories, 2,020 if you want to be precise. And as long as your maintenance calorie number is higher than that, you're going to be creating a calorie deficit and losing weight and burning fat. So you could eat whatever you want in any macro mix. And as long as it fits your calories, it'll work. Yes, you can eat pizza, burgers, ice cream, McDonald's. Heck, you can eat dog food if you want. And you will lose weight as long as you are in a calorie deficit. But I guess if it fits your calories, it must not sound as sexy because it never caught on. So why do I think if it fits your macros is stupid? Well, my biggest gripe is because of how few people it actually serves. If you're between the ages of 16 and 30, or if you're as genetically gifted as the aforementioned social media influencers, you can essentially eat whatever you want. As long as you live an active life, lift weights, and get decent sleep, you'll be good. And let's be honest, life is very easy in your teens and in your 20s. You've got an abundance of energy, your testosterone is sky high, and you don't even feel hangovers. And as Chris Williamson says, at that age, you're made of rubber and magic. Oh God, I miss those days. But most people, including about 80% of the people who watch my videos, don't fall into either of those categories. I don't need to tell you that though, because you know exactly what I'm talking about. Pretty much as soon as you turn 30, almost overnight, it feels like your body starts to turn against you. Your metabolism slows down, you've got less energy, and you put on fat much easier. And as partners, kids, mortgages come into the equation, suddenly the idea of getting to sub 10% body fat doesn't seem quite as important as it once was. I used to be a huge fan of If It Fits Your Macros, but as I've gotten older, as my priorities have shifted, and as I've worked with more clients, I've realized that it's just too simplistic. It's too dogmatic. In fact, it's like getting a brand new video game that you've never played before and sticking it on hard mode. It would be unrealistic to expect you to be good at that. In fact, you're destined to lose. I think one of the best things to come from social media in the last few years has been all the talk about calorie deficits and flexible diet. Watching a James Smith video in 2018, I still remember it to this day, was how I found out about it myself. Now, every fitness content creator and their dog are saying it. And that's a good thing because it's absolutely true. If you're trying to lose weight, you need to know how much you should be eating and you need to track your food to make sure that you're eating the right amount. By the way, if you didn't know, you can get a very rough estimate of your maintenance calorie number by taking your body weight in pounds and just multiplying it by 14. Or if you want, I can give you a precise personalized calorie number so that you're absolutely sure you're eating the right amount. And if you want that, click the first link in the description that's going to be underneath this video and use my calorie calculator. It's completely free and it's only going to take you 30 seconds. But getting back to it, fat loss is not just a numbers game and I think it's gone a little bit too far. 
the message has been oversimplified. Everyone's obsessed with making sure they're under their calorie target or hitting their macros with no regard for the quality of the food that they're eating. In fact, they're glorifying and celebrating eating food while showing you their abs even though they're on gear or they're 22. Too much emphasis has been put on calorie quantity and not enough on calorie quality. But fat loss is so much easier if you're eating high quality food. And I wish I knew this five years ago when I thought you could just eat whatever you wanted and as long as it fit your calories and your macros, you were good. But the reality is that junk and processed food is awful for you. Not only are the macros horrible with high saturated fat, no micronutrients, and basically no protein, the impact that it has on your endocrine system, your hormones, is devastating. Your insulin and your glucagon, which control your blood sugar levels, your cortisol, which is your stress hormone, your testosterone or your estrogen if you're a woman, and not forgetting your leptin and your ghrelin, which are your hunger hormones. All of them are going to be negatively impacted if you're just focused on in your calorie and macro targets. You'll sleep worse, you'll crave more food, you'll never feel full, and you'll have crazy mood swings. Not only are you going to find it so much easier to stay within your calories and your macros, but you're going to feel so much better in the process. And you'll also look better because one thing I completely forgot to mention is the chaos that junk and processed food causes on your gut microbiome. Yeah, of course, your calorie target is important and so are your macros if you want to lose weight. But what I do now and what I advise my clients to do is to base their diet on four key principles. And I've already told you the first, eat mostly whole foods so that your diet is nutrient dense. Secondly, you want to make sure your diet is omnivorous. So you want to be getting your protein from lean meats, dairy, fish, and eggs and you want to be getting your fiber and your micronutrients from fruit and veg but at the same time try and make your diet quick and simple so i eat the same breakfast every single day and then i have five meals that i rotate throughout the week for lunches and dinners and what's crucial is that every single one of them i can make from scratch in less than 20 minutes and last but probably most important you want to make sure that your diet is enjoyable because if your diet's enjoyable it's never going to feel like you're actually on a diet and the way i do that is very straightforward i'm always sprinkling in some healthy snacks and treats now obviously treats and healthy snacks are going to look different for everybody right now for me i'm having fanta lemon zero sugar and I have a couple of squares of dark chocolate after my lunch and then another couple, well, sometimes four after my dinner. But the point is I genuinely enjoy everything that I eat and that really should be your goal too. Now it's gonna take you some time and some effort to construct your perfect diet, but it's such a worthwhile exercise because once you've done it, the whole process, this whole notion, this whole idea that you've gotta be on a diet, well, it's gonna feel effortless. So in summary, Unless you are genetically gifted or under the age of 30, if it fits your macros is stupid and you shouldn't do it. And if you want to watch the video where I go through my exact diet and show you what I eat every single week, you can click here. But either way, I really hope this video was useful and I'll catch up with you soon.